At first glance, it might look just like a normal Jeep, but upon closer inspection, it's an official rig, complete with a calling card. We want to go places where other people haven't. It's outside the office of Stephen Major. He runs Extreme Expeditions Northwest. They're an adventure company with a unique pitch. Tag along with them not to just only get outdoors, but to find evidence of a North American legend, a creature Major first saw the tracks of as a teenager in British Columbia. And that was my first exposure to the reality that Bigfoot existed. You see, for Major, it's not a matter of determining if Bigfoot is real, but rather where the hairy exactly. creature is dwelling. After Sasquatch investigations of his own, Major created his own company, Extreme Expeditions Northwest, last year. They offer guided Bigfoot trips. And now they're about to embark on their biggest and scariest adventure to date. No one's ever been up here. It's a long ways away. From their headquarters in Spokane Valley, Major will be packing up and heading all the way to Alaska, specifically to a place called Port Chatham. It's a very remote area that's not home to people anymore, only legends. In 1950, the, the residents of Port Chatham, Alaska, just abruptly got up and abandoned the place because they were afraid of the hairy man. The native Alaskans called it Nantanak, their version of Bigfoot. Settlers of Port Chatham shared stories of people who left to hunt and never returned. Others were found dead. He's been known to stalk humans. He's a cannibal. He goes after people. The stories don't seem to bother Major or the nicknames of the areas near Port Chatham where this Bigfoot is rumored to live. And they call it the Lake of No Return because people would go up there and hunt doll sheep and not come back. Major has been to Port Chatham three times before to scope out the area. This is footage from last September when he and a team looked for signs of the legendary cannibal. We found tracks. That's as far as we made it. We got the hell out of there after that. Now that's going to change. Later this month, Major and three others will return to Port Chatham. They'll venture up to the Lake of No Return and camp there for a couple nights. Unlike other Sasquatches, Major says this one isn't elusive and may try to approach them. No one has gone in there with the sole intent of finding definitive proof of the hairy man, trying to force an encounter with him. So that's what makes this trip unique, he says. It's too remote for anyone to pull a hoax. And for those non-believers, Major has a message. What I tell people is this. If they're a real doubter about it, I say, just come along with us. Come on one of our expeditions and you'll be a believer when you're done. What he and the team will find remains to be seen, but Major says they'll be ready. <laughs> I'm excited. Really, really excited. In Spokane Valley, Taylor Vido, Cram 2 News.